Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. In the last video, we finally fixed the bridge to East Pole, which is where we're supposed to go. But first, there is a side quest right there. And we're going to go do it. Because I want to. Here, you're that bear who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. It's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Thousand gill? Yes, I will do it. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. I want all that money, dude. Okay, it's just right down here. A little bit of a fetch quest. How do I... Can I just jump off? Yes, I can. Look at that. So innovative. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. This should be interesting. Stay down! I wonder if I can... There we go. Cool. Oh, it's running away. Where are you going there, crab? Get back here. That didn't work. You know what to do, boy. Okay. <laughs> I thought Torgo was going to attack more than that. This must be it. No point spending any more time down here than I have to. Okay. Got your crystal, dude. Any luck? Yours, I presume. You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the cash to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. The crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Okay. Give me that money. Alright, now the next side quest is in the new area that we have to go to. Which... I'm not going the right way. There we go. I'm taking the bridge. And you can't stop me. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. 
It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. All right. Martha said the blight spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Yep. Gloom widows too. Of course, there's spiders everywhere. Did you actually do anything in that fight? I'm not trying to be mean, but it looks like he just uh, stood there. There you go, that's better. Hello, turtle. No holding back. Didn't time her right. Every time. Almost got you, bud. Almost got gotcha. you. Here comes the magic. Nailed it. Screwed now. All right. Got some more of these. Let's make this quick. Yeah. 
It's not charged yet, okay. There you go. And I missed it. <laughs> Get away from me, Buck. Keep your distance, boy. Get up, boy. Oh, there's guys over here too. Killing spree. Mistakes. Oh, I can't. I can do this though. Stuff everywhere. There's our side quest. Oh my god, it's a dragon. No, I didn't. I just stood there. God. Dude, I'm going to get my fuck kicked. Yep, I'm about to die. Holy crap. I almost got dead. Almost. How do I get across there? And what is that? Oh, that's over there. Okay.
the, oh, that's Torgal. I didn't know what the hell that was for a second. Damn it, Torgal. Freaked me out. Hello, good sir. You there. Over yep. here. Yeah. Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. Ugh, curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You and the Marfers, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slard a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. We'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. They'd made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something new. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Well, you're a jackass, but I want that gill, so. All right. I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. All right, we're gonna go kill some wolves. But I wanna go over here first. Yeah, actually we'll save that. Let's go kill the wolves first. Bryce, here you are. Oops, sorry. You, Bryce. What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves, so I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? Oh, Frederick, you oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. Hey! You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Wow, everybody is a jackass. Everyone. But we're gonna go back over here. Because there's a building. What's that noise? How about you guys. Too bad we can't fish in this game. Knock knock. The hell was that? Those rats. Goblin coin. And some more still silk.
Okay. Well, we're supposed to go that way, but first... I want to head back over here. Because I... Saw a big guy across the water. There he is, right there. There he is. Let's get rid of these things first. Come here. I like doing that. Oh, I missed. And I used... Damn it. Again. Oh well. I'm never gonna learn. Dead end. Okay. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, there's two of them. Uh-oh. That's enough. Give them all you've got. What am I doing? What am I doing? You know what to do. Why is he not? Okay. Turbo, come on. There you go. Stay down. All right. Let's go. Let's get this guy first. Hello, Minotaur. Gonna kill you. You're staggered. A little help. I guess I can't heal anymore. Almost gotcha. Go and you know what? I've got enough to get that uh, ability. Yeah. There we go. Now I gotta equip it. I'm gonna replace that. All right? That's the right one. Yep, okay. Awesome. Because it's going to heal me when I use it, plus two damage. So let's go try it on the big guy over here. And see how it works. 
Hello, big guy. Did it heal me? Wasn't looking. I think it did. Oh no, you just won Jill up in the air, you jackass. Ow. go. Alright. And now that we got all that done, we can now be on our way. Alright, we've gone everywhere. I think we have. Pretty sure. Ooh, we're gonna go over the bridge over there. Over the waterfall. Look, the windmills. That Not must where? be Eastpool. Oh, look. I'm not gonna attack you, don't worry. I am at peace with friendly animals. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Those areas seemed a very different place back then. Hey look, it's more VV. I think it's hilarious that the scarecrows in this game are VV. That is. Very funny. What is that noise? Drink up now, my darlings. You're gonna need a lot more than that if you're gonna water all this. Holy shit, lady. Um, this way. But, yep. That's why we explore. The little chests. Okay, we won't go that way. We'll save it. We will save it for later. First, let's move on with the story. I 
Wow, it's a pretty village. I got a feeling they're going to be assholes here, too. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You! You're Clive Rossfield! It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Rodney, Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. You simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Ah. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... Oops. I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. <sighs> yeah. 
Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. That was so awkward. Why? Sleep well. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Follow the road to the north. It should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Clive looking like Gabriel Belmont. Holy shit. Also, I got some new uh, gear. <gasps> Look at that. A new sword. And a belt. And uh, 
Ben braces. Hell yeah. Just checking. Okay. I like it. Now, let's, um, no side quests. So we will, oh, there's a shop. And a chest. Martha could spare us a few bushels. Okay, that's probably it. I don't see any other chests. Hi. Well, aren't you dressed up smart? Especially for a bearer. Proper little prince you look. Well, thank you for that backhanded compliment. Okay, where's the shop at? Up here. Hello, good sir. Well met, friend. Yes, well met. I want to sell some stuff. Three of them. Oh, well, you Thank won't you. Ooh, no. and seven of those. Hell yeah! Got anything else for me? Good lord! This should make me a few gill. Okay, and uh, let's see if I can. Huh? No. I need three of these. Here you go. One of those. There you are. And one of these. Ta. See you then. Yep. Y you. Those are Elwins. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. 
The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. <laughs> as fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Okay, well, before we go meet the bearer. We are going to end it right here. In this actually pretty nice town. I like it here in Eastville. But yeah, until next time, thank you for watching. I appreciate every single one of you for being here. And if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see all of you next time.